Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Okie dokie. Right then, so I'm going to pick uh, four cards for uh, Carmilla and uh, let's see what's coming uh, her way. Okay then, so uh, let's have a look. I thought I'd stop to recording then. Right, okay, so let's have a look then. Hangman reversed, okay, so I'm getting a hangman reverse, you know, self-sacrifice, um... I'm getting uh, things the wrong way around though, so maybe, you know, things the wrong way around. Maybe for her it's about priorities uh, and so her uh, focus should be on herself uh, rather than um, like duty, uh, so to speak. I think this Harry saga uh, has been getting everybody uh, down, but as we know, um, the... Uh, Camilla tested uh, positive with uh, COVID and I just felt like at the time I said she was ill she, you know it wasn't that she didn't look good I just knew she was ill um, and that's you know something to do with her blood uh, and so she got tested uh, for the uh, COVID so you know maybe she's gone against everybody's wishes uh, you know and she should be relaxing because you know when you've had it once or twice it doesn't matter it can still leave you uh very very uh tired and you know out of breath easy and and all stuff like that yeah i definitely think she's been uh, told to stay where she is so maybe there won't be a trip coming up for her that was intended uh or, or a plan uh you know gets changed we're definitely seeing a, a change here so she may have to uh, pull out of a, a couple of events and, and stay at home and rest. The people, you know, in general, uh, like Camilla, and they they do, you know, there's a, a, a lot of time for Camilla, um, and she makes Charles happy, and that's it, you know, so be it. We're allowed more than one love in our lives, I'm afraid, you know, and if you're married, it ends in divorce, and you meet somebody else, don't you? Uh, or you have an affair like they did, and it's not a popular choice, it's not recommended, uh, but, you know, it stood the test of time. I do feel like a, a lot of people are going to show support for uh, Carmilla um, in the fact that, you know, get well, get well now i'm talking about a future so not now but uh, about the future okay so she she might take a, a bit of a turn uh and then uh you know people come out and they're in support of her saying get well camilla you know all those kind of nice uh wishes uh as well i kind of think uh, as well that there's uh somebody oops Yeah, I kind of think uh, there's a lot of well wishes uh, there, you know. Uh, and also somebody she thinks fondly uh, of uh, as well. Maybe somebody she feels uh, fondly of. I definitely think this is uh, to do with uh, an illness, okay. Uh, I, as well, I wonder if she's got a funeral coming up, uh, you know, uh, for, for around her. Um, I feel like the, there's a, a funeral, but I also feel like somebody is just definitely not well, uh, and, and you know is going to need to see the doctor uh, uh, again. So I wonder if like nothing's been diagnosed uh, as yet. Does uh, you know Camilla have anything else wrong with her apart from COVID? Whatever she's got, it's aggressive and attacking fast, okay? So, you know, uh, whatever she's got, it's uh, attacking uh, fast. It's like you can't stop it. You can't stop it. I 
Camilla's got a son, yes. I think her son might go, uh, you know, spend a lot more time with her. What do I need to know? What do I need to know? It's fast and aggressive. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? It's terrible. Everybody's getting sick and dying. Uh, everybody's getting sick and dying. Okay, so, you know, what? what's... um. What's Camilla's state of mind at the moment? Uh, that people shouldn't find out, you know, that people uh, shouldn't find out. This is quite bad and this is quite serious. So am I implying then that, you know, Camilla uh, is uh, vastly, gravely unwell? I think I am. I think I am. See, you know, with the Queen, nothing comes out, does it, uh, until a long time after. Uh, and it'll be the same for uh, Camilla. They keep uh, all their bloody things uh, to themselves, don't they? You know, they don't go out there and, and act as uh, victims. How? What's uh, Charles's biggest fear about Camilla? That they're a partnership, you know, uh, that she keeps him on the straight and narrow. Um, you know, they work well together, they balance together, they're equals, they're absolutely equals, you know, that's how he sees it. Um, and they know that, you know, he knows they've had a, a rough time and stormy seas, um, but he's actually uh, hoping. I'm just wondering, forgive me for asking this, ladies, but... Is there something wrong with Camilla's breasts? Right, I'm getting a no. But I don't know, you know, you know, is it something uh, breast related? So it's not a breast. Does Camilla have any form of cancer? I'm going to say she knows. Okay, so she knows. Absolutely, she she knows uh, there's something wrong. So she's received a, a diagnosis. Um, her face was ashen, ashen, absolutely uh, ashen. Let's keep an eye on uh, Camilla for uh, the next few weeks and see. But, you know, if you start noticing that she's having to pull out of uh, things, um, then then it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Does Camilla know she has cancer? I mean, it might not be cancer. It could be something else, you know. It's spoiling the coronation. It's spoiling the coronation. You know, it, it, she can't get involved. She can't plan things. You know, she. It's like it's it's over her head. It's over her head. Well, treatment of Camilla's illness. Not saying it is cancer for definitely okay, but usually, usually the summer. Um. Does Camilla feel that she can fight this and, uh, you know, a treatment would be successful? Does Camilla believe that she will, uh, you know, uh, recover from uh, this illness? No. 
No surgery. No nothing. Okay, well, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, guys. Uh, you know, uh, these are always factual, are they? Um, so, uh, yeah, that's all I can say, really. No surgery, no treatment, nothing can be done. I don't know. I don't know. Terrible, isn't it? Terrible. Well, let's see in, uh, what, you know. I mean, at the end of the day, right, when you get a death sentence... You can do uh, one of two things, you know, die a bit earlier and miserable or go out there and, uh, you know, try and uh, make the rest of your days worth living before before you're unable to. OK, so, oh, dear. Well, you know, I'm sorry for that uh, and I'm so sorry for uh, a few things, really. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, well, that's that then, isn't it? Let's see. Okay, guys, I'll be back soon with another reading. Bye now. Bye-bye.